I'm dreaming of a summer night With palm trees and sunny rays and sunflower fields We run away, we run away Hey everyone, we are on day 8 of my 30-day beach yoga challenge focused on the chakras so that means that we are back to the root chakra today so come into a comfortable seated position hands are on your knees or in your lap and your eyes are closed the root chakra governs the earth element inside of you so this is our feeling of being grounded feeling secure, stable, secure in having a place in this world, and secure in your own skin, feeling safe and confident. Red is the color of this chakra, so I invite you to visualize the color, and you can even be wearing the color like I am. I invite you to get grounded, having bare feet on the earth, so outside if you can, wherever you are in the world. And then just visualizing yourself connecting to the ground beneath you as if your legs, your feet are growing roots into the earth. Go ahead and inhale, lift the arms up to the sky and pull the energy down, hands to heart center. Again, inhale up, exhale. Last time, inhale. Good, go ahead and just melt over your legs, folding yourself in half, a nice little forward fold allowing your chest to drape over your legs. Before we move into asanas, I want you to check in with yourself mentally and physically. Are you feeling secure or safe? Is anything going on in your life that you need to just slow down and ground yourself? Set your intentions now to allow your stress to melt off your body. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and come to all fours. You're going to be inhaling and exhaling through cat and cow. So you're going to take this as many times as you want to your own breath. So you're arching your back, your tailbone is lifted to the sky as you move through cow. And then you're rolling the spine, belly button is pulled in, dristy in between your thighs as you move through cat. So move as if you are going through water or the ocean as slow as you possibly can. Really pushing through your fingertips. Tops of the feet are pressed against the ground. And breathe. Taking a few more moments to warm up your spine Again, going as slow or as fast as you want, making sure it's super intentional and getting deeper and deeper in each variation. Okay, go ahead and curl the toes under. Exhale, push the hips to the sky, downward facing dog. So your gaze is in between your knees. Your arms are straight. You can bend one knee at a time, pushing into the mat or into the ground beneath you and pushing the tailbone to the sky. Big inhale, tippy toes, and then exhale, push the heels to the ground. Again, inhale, tippy toes, keeping the upper body where it is, and then exhale, push the heels down. Doing this two more times. Good. And then go ahead and drop into a child's pose. So the knees are wide, the toes are touching, arms are lengthened in front of you. Giving yourself permission to slow down, manifest, grounding, physically, spiritually, and mentally. 
Repeat after me. I am safe. <sighs> All right. Coming up, and then go ahead and find a seat on your mat, extending the left leg out, right sole of your foot inside of the left leg, knee wide. Inhale your arms, and then turn and pivot to the left leg and fold. Forehead to knee pose. This is so good. I'm just melting over that left leg, getting into the hips on the right side and the hamstrings on the left side. Your gaze should be slightly towards the left armpit. This is not a side bend, it is a forward fold. Slowly come out of it, changing sides, extending the right leg out long, left foot inside the right side, inhale the arms to the sky, turn and pivot towards the right, and fold. Making sure your breath is still strong and surrendering into this stretch. Good, slowly come out of that, pushing yourself up and you're going to Come forward to roll onto your back, bringing your knees into your heart. Give yourself a big squeeze. <sighs> Good. Allowing yourself to feel safe and secure. Breathing in the nose and out of the mouth. Another one, inhale. Amazing. When you're ready, just go ahead and lay on your back and extend the legs up to the sky. You're going to point and flex into the feet. Pushing your low back into the ground, making sure there's no gaps. And you can also be doing this against a wall. Taking a few more. And then when you're ready, roll yourself up into a yoga squat or malasana. So your knees are out wide. You're either balancing on your toes or your heels are pressed to the mat. Rocking left and right, opening up your hips, focusing in on any tension and letting it Release with breath. <sighs> Hands are at heart. Your eyes can be closed. Allowing yourself to get comfortable in the uncomfortable. If you need to hold the ground with your fingers, you can. Or even a couple blocks or an object to lift yourself higher. But from here, we're going to extend the left arm out as we inhale the right arm to the sky for a twisted malasana. You are simultaneously pushing your knee against your arm and your arm against your knee to open up the hip wider. And you can even grab the bind behind your back to get into the shoulders. Breathing and come back through center. Changing sides, so extending the right arm out in front of the right knee, left arm to the sky, and grab the bind if you did so on the other side. Amazing, slowly come back through center, and we're just going to plant the hands and push the hips to the sky as you do a nice forward fold. Good, holding for a breath, and then go ahead and drop the hips back down, malasana. Doing that a couple more times, planting the hands, pushing the hips to the sky slowly, grabbing your ankles if you'd like, and dropping the hips back down, knees out wide. Good.
You should be feeling this in your low back, your hamstrings, your upper back, and your hips. Balancing in Malasana again. <sighs> feeling grounded or even practicing the balance. Good. All right. Go ahead and plant your hands again, and we're going to push into Downward Facing Dog. So walk your feet back or your hands forward, pedaling out your heels a few more times. Not doing any warriors or any sun salutations today, keeping it super simple and easy. Go ahead and come back onto your shins or onto your butt for a seated meditation, bringing your hands into your lap or on your knees, closing your eyes, already noticing the effects of what just a few minutes of connecting with your root and bringing attention to certain areas of your body and your mind can do. Giving yourself 10 more deep breaths to relax the mind into this very present moment. Feel the earth beneath you, squeezing your mula bandha. This is your root lock around the area of your bathroom muscles. So squeeze everything and allow that energy to circulate throughout the body to allow yourself to feel even more safe and grounded. You are literally purifying, removing any blockages, and harmonizing and balancing yourself. <sighs> With that being said, closing this session out, inhaling the arms to the sky, pull the energy back down. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Big circle again, last time, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Go ahead and drop into child's pose, or you can even come into a shavasana that is all i have for you guys today i hope you feel incredible i'm so happy to have each and every one of you here with me namaste my loves i will see you tomorrow day nine and it's going to be back to the sacral chakra i know you guys loved the first one Mwah. focusing on our root chakra that is Moldahara in Sanskrit and that color is red so we're focusing on the deep roots this is the feeling of being grounded rooted into the earth into your work life your home life everything so we're really going to set our intention to open up the root we're gonna be working on our hips and just being super grounded so Beginning in this seated meditation, closing your eyes, starting to make the same noise as the ocean behind me. This is called Ujjayi Pranayama. You're restricting the, your throat and making an ocean-like sound. So taking a few breaths, hands are on your lap or on your knees. Amazing. If you feel like you need to move flesh out from underneath your sit bones, so you're super grounded, sitting nice and tall on your spine. Three more breaths. Pulling the shoulders away from your neck, extending through the spine. Core is engaged. Sit bones are nice and firm on the ground underneath you or the pillow or blanket. Good. Go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together 
legs and knees are out wide. Go ahead and just move your knees up and down a few times. Lift your chest up nice and tall, big inhale, and exhale. Try to pull your body flat back so your chest is reaching towards your feet. So instead of rounding down, we're lifting through the shoulders and then slowly going down as far as you can go. If this is all you have, hold there. If you are more flexible, you can go ahead and come all the way down. Again, instead of rounding, you're leading with your chest and your forehead. And then at the very bottom, you can go ahead and drop your chin down. Amazing. Slowly lift your heart up. A nice tall spine. Take your left hand behind you. Inhale the right arm up and go ahead and twist to the left. Again, we're not trying to force it. We're going very slow, making sure we're focusing on that deep alignment with the spine. Nice and tall. Exhaling as you're twisting to the left. Nice. Slowly come through the center. Big inhale. Big exhale. Changing sides. Inhale, left arm lifts. Right fingertips are on the ground beside you. And then go ahead and twist, right? Big inhale, lift the spine. And exhale, twist the body. Amazing. Inhale and release. Exhale. All right, we're going to move off of the prop underneath you. Putting that to the side. Bringing the soles of your feet together still. And then you're just going to slowly come onto your back at the count of five, four, three, two and one inhale your arms over your ears using the gravity to let your knees drop even deeper to the ground no no no, no, no. thank you <laughs> when in thailand <laughs> okay you can go ahead and put the pillow either underneath your knees on both sides for me, I'm just going to put it underneath my neck to be a little bit more comfortable. Lifting your arms back over your ears, holding here for five breaths. So we're trying to get rid of the round in your back, so you're pushing your back to the ground, engaging your core, pushing the knees down even further and breathe. Feeling completely rooted into the earth underneath you, allowing any outside thoughts to drift away like clouds in the sky. Bringing one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Setting an intention for the next few minutes of deep hip opening and opening your root chakra. Begin to relax the muscles, not forcing anything.
good. All right, releasing your hands, giving yourself a squeeze. You can go ahead and grab the back of your thighs, slowly rock up. It might take you one time or three times to come up. Once you come up, I want you to cross your legs underneath, coming to hands and knees. So your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Your knees are underneath your hips. I'm gonna go ahead and move this away. Beginning to move into some cat and cows. So you're elevating your hips to the sky, looking up, big inhale, and then pull the hips under, curling your spine, curling your tailbone, looking down to your belly button as you exhale. Doing this a couple times to your own breath. I challenge you to close your eyes during this practice. Really feeling into your entire spine. Moving as slow as you can. As if you're moving through water or jello. Coming to a neutral spine, go ahead, open up. So you're going to put your right foot back and then curl it open so you're facing the right side. Lift your right arm up, modified side plank. So feel rooted, your hand is underneath your shoulder, your right arm is reaching up super long. Feeling extremely grounded here on your left leg through your right feet if you want to challenge yourself you can go ahead and lift up the right leg good amazing go ahead and drop down onto the right foot if you lifted your foot and then drop your right arm step back high plank and then we're changing sides. So you're gonna drop your right knee down, open the left leg out, and raise your left arm to the sky. Again, rooting down, in through your right fingertips on the ground, lifting your left arm up higher and higher. Once you feel nice and good, if you're shaky, just stay here. You want to try to float the left leg and breathe. All right, slowly drop the leg, drop the arm, step back, high plank, holding. Good. Slowly lower all the way down to your belly. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I have a friend today. He's trying to do yoga with us. All right, inhale your body, upward facing dog. But you can keep your legs down for the first one. From here, open up your knees wide, pushing back to child's pose. So again, feel rooted into the earth, pressing your third eye or your forehead onto the mat. Fingertips are nice and grounded onto the earth, pushing yourself back. Two deep breaths. Amazing. From here, you're just going to step the right foot forward, coming into a low runner's lunge, breathing into your left hip flexor here before we come up. Long spine. 
And then on the inhale, you're going to drag the fingertips on the ground as you inhale the arms up to the sky. Big inhale, big exhale. Feeling super grounded. Amazing. If you want, you can come down, place your right hand on the knee, either stay here, or you can go ahead and bend the back leg and go for the foot. If this isn't comfortable for you, don't worry about it. Just holding what your body can do this morning or whatever time it is you're doing this. All right, release down, drop the back leg if you grabbed it. Go ahead and push the leg straight. Ardha Hamanasana, half seated splits. Big inhale, flat chest, extend through the heel, toes are flexed, and exhale, try to pull your third eye, your forehead, to your foot. Try not to round. If you, can, if you need to bend your knee, you can, but try your best to keep it straight. <sighs> Amazing. All right, slowly walk your hands up. Step your foot back. Coming down onto the chest. And then roll yourself forward, upward facing dog. Keeping the legs on the ground or you can try to lift the kneecaps. Inhale, exhale. First downward facing dog, curl the toes under. Step the hips back. Good. So you're rotating the toes in, heels slightly out. Also, your biceps are going forward, your triceps are shooting backwards, and your gaze is in between your knees or to your belly button. Inhale and exhale. Good. From here, look forward, left side. So set the left foot forward, drop onto the back knee. Holding here, runner's lunge for a couple breaths. Good. And when you're ready, swoop the arms up, big inhale, looking up to the sky. Anjana Asana. Good. So you should really be feeling this in your right hip flexor, your hips. I'm very tight this morning, so definitely go as far as you can and then just hold. Rooting the top of the right foot into the ground, bottom of the left foot. Inhale and exhale. If you did grab the, the foot on the other side, go ahead and do so right here. Placing the left hand down on the knee, bending the back foot and hold. Testing your balance. Inhale the arms up. Making sure that your ankle is directly underneath the knee. It can be slightly over, but not much. Good. One last inhale. One last exhale. Release the binds. Go ahead and push the front leg straight. Flexing through the left foot. Big inhale, flat back. Exhale, keep folding with a flat back as you exhale. Breathing into the back of the hamstrings. Amazing. 
Last inhale. Last exhale. All right, walking your hips forward. Go ahead and move to a wide-legged stand. Inhaling your hips, hands to hips, and then exhale, fold. Bringing your hands in line with your feet, elbows are at a 90 degree angle. You're pulling yourself forward, but instead of rounding like this, because you might fall, you're going to keep the chest up, or sorry, keep the chin up, and then fold as if you're bringing the forehead to the ground. You can go ahead and try different variations, grabbing the hands to the ankles. If you want to go ahead and try the bind behind the back. So good. Three more breaths. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, walk your hands over to your left foot, stepping the foot back, high plank. Inhale, halfway, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, heels to the mat. Again, inhale, tippy toes, look forward. Tippy toe all the way up to your feet. Hips or feet are about hips with distance. Grabbing the peace fingers to the big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Ardha Panagustasana. <sighs> Amazing. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, open up the feet. Toes are outwards, heels are in. Dropping your hips down. For a yogi squats or malasana. So hands are at hips. Keeping your heels planted pushing your elbows into your knees. Long spine, close your eyes. Coming back into that feeling of being rooted and grounded into the earth, breathing into your hips. We walk around with so much tension in our hips. It's so unhealthy. Last inhale, last exhale. Go ahead and sit down onto your bum. Plant the heels down. Fingertips are behind you, facing your body, and go ahead and lift for a tabletop. Dropping your head back, lifting your hips. And come down. From here, feet are out long, toes are pointed, arms are up. Go ahead and lower at the count of five. Four, three, two, and one. Pulling your knees in. Good, plant the heels on the ground. Arms can also be by your sides, tickling the back of your heels. As you inhale, lift your hips up for bridge. You can go ahead and curl your shoulder blades under and hold. Good. 
Good. Slowly lower down. Amazing. Good. Next set. Lift your hips. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Breathing into the back body. Squeezing your core, your glutes. Try not to open up the knees, but rather pull them together and hold. And slowly release. Amazing. Bringing your knees in. Extending through the left leg. Making big circles with the right knee. Pulling it all the way over to your armpit. Holding here for a couple breaths. <sighs> Amazing. And we're just going to oops, pull the knee over to the left for a nice gentle twist. Gaze is at your right fingers. And breathe. Coming to the center, switching the legs, pulling the left knee in, right leg straight, making those big circles with your left knee, opening up the hip, pulling the left knee into the left armpit, you can grab the shin.
fetal pose represents a rebirth. Every time you do yoga, you're pretty much dying and becoming a new person. Go ahead and push yourself up. Coming into a seated meditation, just like how we started. chakra is super open, hips are nice and feeling good and open. We have sacral chakra tomorrow, so let's do it. Hey guys, it's Mel. I'm so excited. Today is day of my 30 day beach yoga challenge to center our chakras. So we're always starting with the root. So the bottom chakra, and then it goes up to our sacral, it goes up to our navel, our heart, throat, third eye, and crown. I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure to turn on notifications, save the videos so you can watch them later, and let's get started. So start seated in a comfortable position. I don't have a yoga mat. I'm on the beach here in Thailand, so I'm going to be extra rooted to the sacral. So I'm extra rooted to the earth being on the sand right now and I'm just going to embrace it and just feel the energy from the earth. So go ahead, come into a comfortable seat, palms are in your lap or on your knees, close your eyes, coming into a gentle, calming space. Begin to take a few breaths in the nose out of the mouth. Audible exhale. Amazing. I'm already feeling the amazing effects of pranayama. So let's go ahead and move into ujjayi pranayama. So we're going to seal the lips. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the nose. Good. hearing the beautiful waves making the sound as it meets the sands, the island here. Letting that be the soundtrack to this meditation. focus on the root chakra, we're focusing on being grounded, rooted very deeply in our home life, our security, our work, everything. So we're going to focus on making sure our sit bones are nice and on the ground. So you're pulling that fleshy part underneath your tailbone. We're going to inhale, Pull the spine up as if there's a string pulling from the top of your crown up to the sky. We're going to relax the shoulders down, flip the palms up, and then begin to breathe. So now you're going to feel a whole different thing as we're breathing, something so simple you'd think, but instead of slouching, being so like not rooted, we're rooting, we're very tall. Sitting up nice and tall. Amazing. Taking three more breaths. You can begin to make the same sound that the ocean is making in the back of your throat. Let it go a little bit slower, inhale. And exhale. Good. All right, we're going to come onto our back. So dropping back, our feet are super planted on the earth. Instead of arching, so there's a space in the low back that is not touching, you're going to curl the hips under so your low back is touching. Feet are planted. From here, 
Big inhale through the nose, big exhale. We're going to bring our knees up, 90 degree angle, All right? Bring our hands behind our backs, moving into the core. So again, we're not arched. So this is the starting point. And then from here, you're going to inhale, instead of coming forward or your elbows in, keep the elbows out and go up. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Doing this about 10 times. So really squeeze the core. I love focusing on the core because this is the strongest part that you need to focus on in your yoga practice to be able to hold handstands, to be able to get deeper into your stretches and without hurting yourself. Good. Good, a couple more. Amazing. All right, legs go out and then bring it all the way in. Touch the knees to the elbows. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze. So we're focusing on moving super slow. We're focusing on the breath and the body super slow as if you're moving through water. So as I'm going out, my low back is still to the ground. If it's too much for you, you can bend your knees and just kind of go back like this. Squeeze in, come out. Amazing. Two more. Extend and bring the knees into your chest, making small circles, giving your low back a massage. Amazing. All right, dropping your left heel down. You're gonna cross over your right heel, going for modified pigeon. So like I said, we're super grounded in this class today. I'm literally not gonna have you stand up at all. So making this super intentional, begin to take your deep breaths in and out of the nose. You can close your eyes. Really feeling this in your glutes, in your hips. But we're not trying to overdo it. We're trying to work slow and slowly pull the knee in closer to the chest. And then slowly push out the knee. Breathing here for five breaths. Amazing. Feeling your spine super long, feeling so supported by the earth, so rooted. Amazing. It should start to feel a little bit harder now, so you should start feeling the muscles get a little bit sore. And this is where the yoga starts, so that you want to hold it there and you want to go a little bit deeper. Good. All right, relax that. You're dropping your left heel back down. And then from here, you're actually going to open up to the right, and then you're going to push through your left hip. Your arms can be overhead, they can be down by your sides. Um, a little bit of a twist, but it's mostly working on the sciatic nerve. So this is if you have any low back pain, any pain in this part, in this region. And we're breathing. Amazing. All right, come back to the center. We're just gonna drop over so you're kind of like in an eagle wrap, dropping open for the twist. Gaze to the right side. Breathing into this twist. Working on our digestion. Any toxic energy in there, toxic food if you just ate something, you'll definitely feel it here. And this is just going to work the body to get rid of all of that. Good. 
big inhale through the nose. Big exhale. Amazing. Coming back to the center, switching sides. So right heel is planted, left heel is crossed over, and we're pulling in for the modified pigeon. So again, we're making sure the spine is super long. So you're pushing and you're almost like pulling your shoulders down. Breathing. So much tension, so much baggage that we hold in our hips all year long. And if we just sit down and just stretch them and breathe through them, I promise you we will all be able to walk and feel so much better, just like with any day-to-day -day task. Good. Release that. Going over for the sciatic stretch. So we're dropping open. So pushing the right forward. So you're really squeezing the glutes. You're not just like relaxed. Pushing through. Woo! <laughs> and either have your arms overhead or on the side. to the center, eagle legs, drop for the twist. Gazes to the left hand and twisting out anything that no longer serves you. So close your eyes, feeling the stretch, feeling gravity do its work. You don't have to try too hard. Slowly let your body twist deeper and deeper one little movement at a time. Amazing. All right, coming back to the center, bringing the knees in, grabbing the backs of your thighs. We're gonna rock front and back. Oof. I'm getting super dirty for you guys. Woo! And once you come up, you're just gonna keep seated down like this, and we're going to move into a modified cat and cow. So you're rolling your body back. As you round the spine, you're looking at the belly button. And then you're going to inhale, come forward. Kind of like you're arching your back where you're really just sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, round back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale. Inhale. One more time, exhale. And inhale, come up. All right, from here, we're going to lift our legs up, coming into boat pose. So again, we're focusing on pulling the chest up as if there's a string pulling from the sky. Your chest is lifted, your arms are up. This is the full version. If you need a modification, you can have your toes down on the ground and just have your arms forward, this is fine. Next step would be to lift up like this, or full version, lift the arms, lift the legs. <laughs> Good. Three more breaths. Feeling super grounded, feeling like you're moving so slow, you're getting so much out of this slow practice. Good. All right, curl the toes under, coming on to hands and knees. So we're going to make big circles here, moving left and right. Okay, so you're gonna come down onto your belly. We make sure we're nice and comfortable. So we're going to put the tops of the feet down on the mat. You're really pushing them down, so they're not gonna be like floating. And then from there, you're planting your hands nice and firmly. Your shoulder blades are back, your elbows are back. Keeping your chin tucked into your chest. Inhale, halfway cobra. So we're going light right here. And then at the very top, I want you to come up and look up. 
or you can look straight. Right, slowly come back down. So the point here is to move extra slow and feel extra grounded in your practice. So we're gonna do this two or three more times. Low cobra, halfway, and then exhale down. Last time, inhale. And exhale. All right, open up your knees, toes are together, pushing back for child's pose. All right, from here, we're going to move forward like we're going to do a little, a little flow. So you're going to come forward, kind of like cat pose. And then as you bend your elbows, you're coming down, up, into upward facing. From there, cat pose back. Child's pose. Ready? Coming forward. Bend the elbows. Arch the back. Look up. Cat pose back. One more time. Come forward. Moving super slow. Feeling the earth, the yoga mat, the sand, whatever you're on. Extra right now. Okay. Holding child's pose. Reconnect with your breath. Good. All right, we're gonna move into some back bends. So having your knees planted, we're gonna go the right side first for half camel. Keeping your hand either on your low back, your ankle, the ground, or the foot. And we're going to swoop the left arm up as we inhale. So again, if it's too much for you right there, you can keep your hand on your hip and just kind of reach. I'll do the full version. Back bend back. Good. Loop around, sitting back down, and then changing sides. Look forward. You're looking up or backwards. Good. Coming back down, sitting in child's pose, putting one ear on the mat. Giving yourself love by saying kind things to your body. Okay, coming for the full version. So you can start by sitting tall onto your hips. All right, hands to hips to start. You're gonna push your body forward. Looking up. All right, if you feel good here, just stay. Or, or you can go right away back. But for me, I'm gonna start on my hips. I'm gonna push my hips forward, squeezing my core. And from here, if you want, you can bring your hands down to the ankle and stretch. So we're just breathing. It's a little bit easier if you open up your knees a little bit more. So you're like this. Here. Right. Or you can even have your toes curled under because it makes it a little bit higher. Amazing. Breathing. For those of you who want to go a little bit deeper, you can reach your arms over your head or over your ears and reach back. Either stop here or for my flexible people, drop your hands down and then stretch. Whew. It's good to have a mat right here so you can pull against the mat, but eventually you can have your forearms down, touching your feet. Woo! Coming out of it slow. Back to child's pose. <sighs> and relax. Good. All right, coming up. Coming back onto your butt. Extend your legs forward. Counterbalancing the back bend. So you're gonna flex your toes to your face, inhale your arms up, exhale, forward fold. Yeah. 
so good. Giving your, your body some kind messages, telling your back that it's okay, it's making you stronger, if you definitely feel it right now. Inhale, extend the spine, really long chest, and then exhale, fold a little bit deeper and pull yourself closer to your toes. Good. Roll yourself up. Amazing. Coming into a comfortable seat, just like how we started. We're going to close it out with a little bit of a meditation. So closing your eyes. Even after just doing a few simple postures, feeling so calm, so quiet in your mind, feeling extra peaceful. So we're going to bring the energy into our root chakra. So again, moving the flesh away from your sit bones, sitting nice and tall, pulling in your belly button, pushing the root down as you extend up out of your crown. I am so deeply rooted into this earth, into this practice. My mind is at ease. I have absolutely nothing to worry about. I am grateful. I have so much freedom and that makes me so happy. I can come to this place internally at any point of any time, of any day. I am in peace. So good. Bringing your hands to heart center, bowing your chin in gratitude for this practice feeling super present, super in the moment right now. You have nothing to worry about, I promise you. There's so much in this world, so many people are dealing with so much more than you are, and remember that. Anytime that you're feeling stressed, sit down, close your eyes, breathe, link breath to movement, even if you just do a few postures for five minutes in a day. I'm sending all of my light and love to each and every one of you. Namaste. Mm. Thank you guys so much. I love you so much. And stay tuned for our sacral chakra. So that should be nice and fun and juicy. We'll move a little bit faster and a little bit more sexy. Woo! Thank you guys so much. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>